Hello friends, this is Sapvinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I am a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today, very excited because today I am sharing with you not one, not two, not three, four, yes, four PNP draws which happened in the third week of September. So I'll be sharing the complete analysis and details of these draws. But before that, a very small request. If you have not subscribed to the channel so far, please consider subscribing. We talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update tips and tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to press the bell icon because this way this video comes to you as soon as we upload. So without further delay, let's get started on our important video, which is four PNP draws in third week of September. So I am starting with a very important draw, which is Saskatchewan. So Saskatchewan, this province has recently become super active and Saskatchewan has done a fourth draw. So I have not seen in the past that a province like Saskatchewan has done four draws. So this is their fourth draw and almost we are in the middle of the month. I am anticipating they will do one more draw at least. So let's see what the draw is. So this is SINP, Saskatchewan's PNP program. So SINP draw happened on September 15th. And they have done the draw under the express entry category and occupations in demand. So each province, almost almost like every province has a express entry category and that express entry category is linked with the federal express entry category. So they have done the draw under these two categories. Total they have invited 346 people and most importantly, the analysis you can see here this is the fourth draw, as I said, I have never seen Saskatchewan coming up with four draws in one month. This is the fourth draw and they have called 326 people. Out of 326 people, 53 people are under the express entry and 273 under occupations in demand. So I am taking a minute here to explain to you this occupations in demand is not static thing it changes so province looks at it what kind of occupations are in demand and accordingly call those knock codes so here you need to see two things one how many people are called that's one the second and what are the points where the people are called so if the number of people called increase your chance will come if the points decrease then also your chance will come. So you need to see these two important things. And here the cutoff also got reduced. They have reduced the cutoff by 10 points. So the current cutoff is 60. It was, if you compare it with September 7th, it was 70 points. So not only number is increasing, they have also reduced the cutoff. So this cutoff I am trying to make you clear that this cutoff is not a CRS score. This is Saskatchewan's own matrix. This is not a CRS one. So now let's look at the knock codes, the occupation in demand. So this time, this draw focused on electricians and mechanics. So here, the knock code invited were 7237, which is for machine operators and welders and 7241 electrician 7 electricians can be your normal electricians electrician can be your industrial electricians so industrial electricians are 7242 and then heavy duty mechanics then you have automotive and truck and bus mechanics so 7321 so these are the codes which are targeted in this draw now let's have a quick look on how many people are called in the september month by Saskatchewan. So in month of September, it's almost middle of the month right now and you see they have already done four draws. September 1st draw, September 6th draw, September 7th draw and September 15th draw. So total they have called almost 
3000 people in the month of september only 3000 people in the month of september only and september is not yet over i am sure they will come up with at least one or two more draws so that as they will come up we'll definitely share with you but one more thing i like to share with you that if you compare just with the previous month of august 2022 in august 2022 they have done only three draws and they have called only 2000 candidates so they have already surpassed the number so this is the this is about saskatchewan let's move on to another important province which is manitoba manitoba also has done the pnp draw so manitoba before i explain to you the manitoba pnp draw let's have a quick look at the manitoba pnp categories if you know the categories it will be easier for you to understand the draw so basically manitoba categories are divided into three broad categories which is skilled workers stream and then you have uh, international education stream and then you have entrepreneur stream the skilled worker stream is further divided into two categories skilled worker in manitoba skilled worker overseas international education stream is di uh, divided into three categories you have career employment you have uh, graduate internship and lastly student entrepreneur student entrepreneur is basically that category in which student graduates from manitoba province but doesn't want to work for someone they want to become their own boss they want to become entrepreneur so that is a student entrepreneur category so business investor basically have two categories one is your entrepreneur category and other one is farm investor category so now with this information let's have a quick look at how the draw looks so manitoba pnp draw september 15th so September 15 this is the information from the government website sometimes it is not easy to understand from the government websites so here is the same information in the form of the analysis September 15th is this draw happened uh, and if you look at the September 15 they called their invitation to apply as letter to advice letter of advice to apply l a a it is same as ita no difference but the nomenclature and the names are different so 436 people are called and out of 436 skilled workers in manitoba are 388 and 41 are skilled and are your uh, international education stream seven only are from skilled worker overseas so you see overseas score is also higher so manitoba gives higher preference to those who are already working in manitoba so it is important to understand the points grid for manitoba manitoba points grid is a very special one because this province does the negative marking they deduct your point on certain basis if you are not from manitoba or if your studies are not from manitoba you have uh, your uh, you want education also from uh, outside province then also it deducts your points and if your uh, job is also outside they can deduct your points so this is about the points grid but here important thing to understand adaptability has 500 points so you can get 500 points just because of adaptability and what adaptability is adaptability is basically that if you have a close relative in manitoba or your friend or you have a job in manitoba or you have studied from manitoba you can almost get 450 and 500 points so here it is for just for the relative you can get 200 points for friend you can get 50 points so 250 you can get very very easily and if you have worked from manitoba you can get 100 points and if you have studied from manitoba you can get another 100 points 450 points you can easily get in this points grid so this is about manitoba points grid now let's quickly have a snapshot of the total number of people manitoba have called in 2022 so far in 2022 manitoba has called 4851 4851 and this is the second draw by manitoba so 8th and 15th they have september is not yet over they may come up with one more draw at least so 8th and 15th they have done two draws and they have called 714 people so far 
total almost 5000 people they have called in 2022 here is a complete breakdown right in front of you moving on to another important province which is british columbia beautiful bc bc pnp draw so before i tell you about the bc pnp draw i want to tell you important thing that bc is the only province which conducts draw every week every week they conduct draw every week every tuesday they conduct the draw every tuesday and if tuesday is a holiday or monday is a holiday then they move their draw to the next day otherwise it is fixed they come up with a draw every tuesday so this is about bc pnp draw let's first try to understand the categories because that way you can understand the draw easily so bc pnp categories are divided into four major categories the first one is express entry as i said almost every province have their own express entry which is linked with the federal express entry and skills immigration then you have entrepreneur immigration regional pilot and then you have after that bc pnp tech so bc pnp tech was a pilot program but they have made it as a regular program because bc really wants to focus on technology sector people so bc pnp tech category again if you look into it they have further sub categories and these are the sub categories you will actually see in the draw that is why it is important to understand what we are talking so now let's look at the draw draw happened on september 13th and here is a snapshot from the government website sometimes not easy to understand so bc as i said they conduct draw every tuesday september 13th was tuesday and they do draw bc does draw in always in two categories so this is draw 1 and draw 2 is this one right in front of you the analysis of this draw is easier and makes it easier to understand so let's look at the analysis draw happened on september 13th and total number of people called were 298 out of 298 draw 1 which is a general draw so here i want to take a minute from your side to explain you that the general draw also includes the tech draw but bc many times do the specific tech draw only so that comes in the draw 1 in draw 2 they focus on occupations in demand so these are the two kind of people so 251 is a general draw and 47 people are in the targeted draw which is which targets a specific knock code now under the knock codes which are targeted out of 47 people 27 people were early childhood educators healthcare workers always priority they are called always and 12 people were called this time healthcare assistant five people were called veterinary doctor and animal health technologists again five people were called so you look at this detailed information now let's have a look at the the information which is posted on the government website so bc has already clarified that they are going to call these type of occupations bc is going to call technology sector people bc is going to call healthcare sector people child care people and other priorities which include which include veterinary doctors and animal health technologists so they have already in bold letters they have already put this on your on the on their website so now let's look at the snapshot how many people bc has called so far in 2022 so bc has so far called total 6780 people and this is the detailed information month by month draw by draw right in front of you september they have done two draws and 673 people they have already called so this is the information now moving on to last but very important province this province is a smallest province and this province is called prince edward island this is the ninth draw of this year by prince edward island prince edward island is such a small that it is even difficult to locate on the map so you can see this red arrow i'm trying to point to you where the province is 
provinces in the Atlantic area and PNP they have a high focus small province but very high focus and their focus is shown with the immigration options because they have different PNP categories so under Prince Edward PNP categories they are basically two types worker stream entrepreneur stream and remember Prince Edward Island is also a part of Atlantic immigration. So they are calling people through PNP. They are also calling people through Atlantic immigration program. So both ways they are calling people. Here we are talking only about the PNP, not about Atlantic immigration program. So as I said, this is such a small province but very focused. They have already put up their schedule, the draw schedule on their website. And right here, September 15th, the next draw is October 20th. You already know that. So no guesswork. They know that we will be posting the draw on such and such date. So come whatever draw will happen on that date. So this is the Prince Edward Island. Now let's look at the draw. And Prince Edward Island did their draw on September 15th. They have called 147 people. Out of 147 people, they were targeted basically into the two categories, labor impact and express entry and labor impact and business impact. So express entry and labor impact, 142 people were called. Under the business impact, five people were called. Total 147 people were called. And right here is the information. So PNP draw. So far, this is a snapshot. So, so far, a small province like Prince Edward Island has called 1,259 people. Such a small province and they have called 1,259 people through their PNP and not Atlantic is also add on to this. So, this is the information about the four provinces. If you need to discuss your profile, your case, you can book an appointment with our office. Our office is located in Brampton, Canada. Email ID, address and phone numbers. Everything is shared right here with you. Very important thing. If you have not subscribed to the channel so far, please consider subscribing. And thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks.